Okay, so here we are again. We're just going to add a, another camera into this just to um, make the scene a little bit more interesting. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is just put the camera uh, in place. So this time, because we've not got anything really happening with the camera, uh, we're just going to create a camera. So there's no aim on this one. So I'm just going to go to create, camera, and choose camera. And again, like I did with the uh, last uh, camera, I need to get this in place first. So I'm going to go back into my top view. So that's orthographic top. And then I need to find the camera. Uh, which should be selected. So if I put my move tool on. There it is. I can now move it much closer to the plane. I'm going to zoom in. And I want it somewhere behind the plane. About there. For now. I can always edit it in a minute. I also need to look at it in the front view because it will be too high. There we go. Okay, so that's a good starting point. But it's not even looking the right way. So I just need to get that a little bit better as well. So I'm just going to rotate it around. So it's looking at the plane. Now, I'm going to go and look through that camera. And that's going to help me to line it up so that I'm 100% happy with it. So I'm going to go into camera 2. And that's not a bad angle, but I think I can do better. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, try and get fairly central. But I think I just want to be looking over to one side just to make it a slightly more interesting shot. About that. I'm going to try and get it a bit more central in frame. About that. So I'm quite happy with that. So this is going to create, um, hopefully, quite a cool looking shot. Okay, now we need to be very careful. So we're about to parent the camera to the plane, as we've done with the aim in the previous video. Um, but once you've done that, you need to be very careful not to look through this camera and edit it. Because it will change where its initial position is. And it will only move relative to what the plane does. It will never go back to the position that you had it in. Because we've not set any keyframes on it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm now going to put this back into my top view. Um, in fact, no, I'm not because I want to preview it in a minute. So I'm just going to go into my perspective view. Press F to frame my camera up. So my camera's already selected. Shift select the body of the plane and press P. And as I start to scrub through the animation, you'll see that the camera follows it. Wicked. Right, back into to the view. And then if I play it, you'll get an idea of what kind of animation we've created. So now we're sort of sitting behind this plane and we get a much more dynamic shot. Um, possibly some of the turns are a little bit harsh, which is making it look a bit less believable. Um, but overall, a really nice looking shot. We've got these sort of rolling mountains in the background. We get really close to one, so it's looking really nice. Okay, so that's that one. Now in the next video, we're actually going to change an attribute of the camera further. Because what I want in this camera is I want the plane to be in sort of nice sharp focus. But um, I want the background to be slightly out of focus. So we're going to use depth of field. And there are two reasons for this. One um, is because it looks cool. And the other one is because um, the texture map that I've got for the mountains is quite low resolution. So you can see... Uh, in some cases, like the pixels that are making it up, which looks a bit crummy. So we're also going to be using this depth of field to hide that a little bit as well. Okay, so I will see you in the next video for that. Um, I can't wait.